hello everyone in today's video we are going to make a news application in python in this application we will be fetching the top uh, news headlines from an api so let's get started for the api we will be using this news api and which you can found in the news api.org so from here as you can see there are lots of apis so you can select any one of them and to get the api key you just have to click on this get api key and that will show you the api key for you so from here you just need to copy this and we'll use it in our code so let's open the visual studio code now and here i'll create a new python file first so from here i'll click on this new file icon and i'll write newsapp.py and here uh, let's import some libraries so as we are working with apis we need to import requests and then to design the gui we will import kinter as tk all right so now let's design the ui of our application so i'll write canvas equals tk dot tk and i'll set the geometry of our canvas let's set it to 900 into 600 and then set a title for our canvas canvas dot title and we'll call it news app all right now i'll create a button here at first so i'll write button equals tk dot button i'll attach it to the canvas and for the font of that button text i'll take 24 and for the text i'll pass uh, let's say reload and for the command we'll call a method here that will be get news all right and let's pack this button so let button dot pack let's give this a padding to the y coordinate let's give 20 okay and we also need to create a label to show our texts so i'll write label equals tk dot label canvas and for the font of this i'll pass 18 and to make the text appear to the left of the screen i'll call justify equals left all right let's pack this level so level dot pack and i'll also give this a padding of 20 all right and now let's uh, call the main loop so canvas dot main loop okay and now let's create this uh, get news command here so which i'll create here define get news here i'll take a variable called api key where i'll store my api key you have to use your own api key from the newsapp.org and then we'll uh, create the url of our api so i'll write url equals and here i'll paste the url and as you can see inside the url we are um, sending the country name to us you can write any of uh, the country code you want like for india it's in so that's how we can do change that and now for the api key i'll app i'll add the uh, api key that we stored here all right 
and then i'll create a variable called news and here i'll call the requests dot get and here i'll pass the url and i'll convert it to json all right that's it so now we can fetch the data from the url so let's actually try hitting on the postman first to see what we are getting so i'll just copy this open postman and here we need to add the api key so i'll get that quickly here i'll paste that and let's hit the send as you can see here is the response that we are getting so here there are uh, the articles where all the news is stored so let's try to fetch the articles first so i'll go back to my visual studio code and inside here i'll write articles equals i'll call the news variable and from here i'll fetch the articles all right and now as you can see from the api response on each of that article we have some other values like the title the author the description we also got the uh, time of publishing the news and the full content you can fetch all the data and for this example i will be fetching the title of the news so let's do that so to fetch all the titles from each of the articles we need to run a loop so for this at first i'll create some variables like my articles it's an array where i'll store uh, all the articles that we are getting and i'll also create a new variable called my news which is a empty string and now i'll run a for loop for that so i'll write for article in articles so inside each of the article we will extract the title and store it inside a array so i'll write my articles that we just created dot append and here i'll pass the title of that single article so i'll pass the title all right and now to show the uh, top 10 top 5 or top 15 uh, amount of title in our app we have to run another for loop so i'll write for i in range and here i'll say let's say 10 so that we can fetch top 10 article titles so i inside here i'll call the my news string that we just created and here I'll add the my articles height position all right and we can also add a new line here that's it and now let's try to print this uh, my news variable to see if we if we are getting the data or not so I'll let print my news and we have to call the get news method also so i'll be just calling it here let's run this and as you can see inside our terminal we are getting all the news headlines or the news titles so now let's um, set this text inside our UI so in order to do that I'll delete this line and here I'll write label dot config and here I'll pass the text my news all right so now let's run our application again 
as you can see here are all the news uh, headlines that we are getting from the api let's make it look uh, much beautiful okay so for this i'll add here a index so i'll just add i and as uh, the i here is in integer we have to cast it to string all right and let's add a space here i think that would look fine so run it again all right as you can see we are getting all the data with the indexing here and we need to skip this zero so for that i will just write i plus one and now it looks good so here we are getting all the top 10 news uh, titles from the api and we can also click on this reload button to refresh the data from the api all right so that was the quick introduction to the news api you can use that api to make your own kind of news application using python thank you so much for watching